What are the current fasting practices in the United States? They include Ash Wednesday and Good Friday as obligatory days of fasting and abstinence for Catholics. In addition, Fridays during Lent are obligatory days of abstinence. Welcome to SD Case and Courses. Today's topic is current fasting practices in the United States. For members of the Latin Catholic Church, the norms of fasting are obligatory from age 18 until age 59. When fasting, a person is permitted to eat one full meal as well as two smaller meals that together are not equal to a full meal. The norms concerning abstinence from meat are binding upon members of the Latin Catholic Church from age 14 onwards. Fasting on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday means we can have only one full meatless meal. Some food can be taken at the other regular meal times if necessary, but combined they should be less than a full meal. Liquids are allowed at any time, but no solid food should be consumed between meals. Members of the Eastern Catholic Churches are to observe the particular law of their own Sui Juris Church. If possible, the fast on Good Friday is continued until the Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday night as the Paschal Fast to honor the suffering and death of the Lord Jesus and to prepare ourselves to share more fully and to celebrate more readily His resurrection. What is considered meat? Abstinence laws consider that meat comes only from animals, such as chickens, cows, sheep, or pigs, all of which live on land. Birds are also considered meat. Abstinence does not include meat juices and liquid foods made from meat. Thus, such foods as chicken broth, consomme, soups cooked or flavored with meat, meat gravies or sauces, as well as seasonings or condiments made from animal fat, are technically not forbidden. However, moral theologians have traditionally taught that we should abstain from all animal-derived products, except foods such as gelatin, butter, cheese, and eggs, which do not have any meat taste. Fish are a different category of animal. Salt and freshwater species of fish, amphibians, reptiles, cold-blooded animals, and shellfish are permitted. Exceptions from the fast. Those that are excused from fasting and abstinence outside the age limits include the physically or mentally ill, including individuals suffering from chronic illnesses such as diabetes. Also excluded are pregnant or nursing women. In all cases, common sense should prevail and ill persons should not further jeopardize their health by fasting. This information is based on promulgations from the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops as of April 2023. Please contact your local bishop to determine the current rules for fasting and abstinence in your diocese. And that was current fasting practices in the United States in a nutshell. Thanks for learning with us. Until next time, may God bless you forever and ever.